This story doesn't have a lot of information but this is the best I could give you. My mom told me about her story with Bar Jonah, although it isn't horrific it is still crazy considering the background information, which I will get to later. When my mom was very young, maybe preteen or a teenager, she would sometimes see this man around her neighborhood, he would usually just be sitting in his car during the day in a parking lot waiting for something. Sometimes she would see the same car driving around at night. One time she was walking home with her sister and noticed a car following her. When they slowed down it slowed down, and when they sped up it sped up. It was obvious they were being followed, so they started to get suspicious and stopped, so did the car. They made a plan on three they would run for their house, so that is exactly what they did and they got there safely. Now the person in the car could have been anyone, but my mom said it was Bar Jonah considering it was the same car. Another experience was when she was in the alleyway by her house she could see someone digging a hole, this was very suspicious to her, considering it was late and dark, but she also noticed that there were these white things by the man, now looking back on she thinks it was someone's bones. My mom didn't report to the police but her two sisters did and went through questioning. My mom left because she was sent away by her mom. She wasn't around to find out that Bar Jonah was caught for murder. My mom told me about Zachary Ramsey, a victim to Bar Jonah. My mom said that he went to her school and showed me the memorial for him by the entrance of her elementary school. Now that my mom knows who he really was, she suspects that when he was in his car during the day, he wasn't just waiting around for no reason, but waiting for the preschoolers to get out of school and stray away from the group. My mom mostly thinks that because the preschool was only a block away from where he was waiting. Nathaniel Bar Jonah was a child molester, serial killer, and suspected cannibal. He was rumored to have chopped up kids and eat them or served them in a stew to the neighbors. He was imprisoned for murder and child molestation. He was given a 130 years prison sentence and died of a heart attack in Deer Lodge, Montana. Most of his history is online. If you want to find out more it just do a Google search about him. This content was provided by AngeloTricarico.com.